On YouTube, we have Miguel. You've gotten like what? Second, third? You got like X1 a lot, or X1? Yeah, so I've, I've played about like three tournaments and I've, I've lost like maybe one game in each tournament, and each one, each tournament has been like about five rounds. Mm -hmm. um, two tournaments, I lost one game, one game, and then uh, this last tournament, I went uh, X01. So yeah. um, it's been performing pretty <laughs> consistently. This is the Shark Exceed kind of like toolboxy deck. But uh, yeah, just show us what you played. Your main deck was 40... Uh, 43. Okay, all right. Yeah. Let's go through your main deck first. Cool. So, uh, obviously, uh, we're going to go ahead and play uh, three Betunaful Princess. It's a level one fish that uh, gets uh, gets going. So, like, we want to make sure that we maximize. So, I also played the uh, the one for one here. Uh, Betunaful Princess normally uh, summons out the uh, the Buzzsaw Shark. And this Buzzsaw Shark is the one that gets your engines uh, started. Um... We play one of the new cards here uh, called the uh, Right Hand Shark. So this is going to be my main target now for uh, Buzzsaw Shark. And basically, like what he does here is, whenever I control no monsters, um, I'm able to revive him from the graveyard um, onto the field. And if I use him as an XYZ material for a water monster using two water monsters, uh, that XYZ material gains the effect of it cannot be uh, destroyed by battle. Which so, we'll get to later. With which that. we'll get to later, <laughs> yeah, of course. Uh, I also play one uh, Foolish Burial just so like it can act as, as an extender. Um, you'll see there's two reasons why I play Foolish Burial. So one of the reasons is uh, to dump this guy here and he'll go ahead and special summon himself. Mm -hmm. And then I also play Foolish Burial to uh, kind of help out one of the newer spells that I uh, that we got here in the deck. All right. So uh, the next extender here is going to be uh, Silent Sea Nettle. This is one of the newer cards that came out in Brothers of Legends. And uh, what this does here is that I activate its effect. And it just, if I control the water, I can go ahead and uh, special summon it. Um, the, it has a restriction where I can't summon anything else other than water for the rest of the turn. But, um, you know, we'll get to like the boss monster that we summon with that uh, later on here in the profile. It does have a graveyard effect, so sometimes it does come up with like Foolish. Uh, if I need to recur some of the resources, I banish it and shuffle back three water monsters back into the, into the deck. Um, another extender, and I think it's like the best extender, is going to be uh, Silent Angler. Um, if you control the water, you special summon it, right? Exactly, yeah. yeah so just it, can't, I think you just can't special summon water from the hand the rest of the exactly, time. Exactly, like yeah. So if I, Free body. if I control water, uh, special summon it, and uh, it's an inherit summon, so it's not an activated effect. Yeah. yeah. Um, we're going to continue with the extender. So uh, the, next, the next extender here is going to be uh, White Mirror. And basically what White Mirror does is going to... Uh, it's going to special summon a fish monster from the graveyard and then uh and then i also search um for my deck the same name as that fish monster that was special summoned okay. so you know it'll go ahead and special summon silent angler uh it can go ahead and special summon buzzsaw shark um, like any one of them any, any, the any one of the name, fishes right, right? yeah so I, i'll special summon buzzsaw shark and then i'll search a buzzsaw shark okay. from my uh, deck to my hand so it's like an extender and a follow-up like in the same in the same and i and there's there's like a there's like a, a link monster that i play in this deck um if i do like kind of break at least i can make a, an xyz with these two so like i'll show you i'll show you that later on um we'll continue with the extender so we're gonna go ahead and play uh two ready fusions and one instant fusion we are playing the uh we are playing the rare fish and the extra deck and that you know this doesn't really conflict because you do play silent sea nettle that recycles that that rare fish um Onto the spell, so we're going to go ahead and do uh, pot of, three Pot of Desires here. We're going to go ahead and do uh, two Forbidden Droplets. Uh, one Call by the Grave, because we are a little bit susceptible to, like, uh, Baylor and, like, Ash. So we play the one Call by the Grave, and it also, it's pretty good in the format. Uh, and the one Harpy's Feather Duster. So, uh, cool. We're going to go ahead and continue with the uh, with the Hand Trap. So we also play, uh, we play three Ash Blossoms. We play uh, two Effect Baylors. Uh, two Nibirus, oh and goodness. we play uh, three Infinite Impermanences. A lot of hand traps. A lot of hand traps here. Yep. And uh, two other going second cards are going to be the uh, the Kaiju. Yeah. Oh the my Kaijus. goodness. Um, the last three cards that I play is, are going to be the uh, the Gozen matches. Uh huh. And so the Gozen matches here, uh, there's a you know Kragen with the new support with the Kragen cards and the X Y Z, which is going to be the next card that I talk about. Um, it really makes a really disgusting lock and so we'll talk about that here yeah because kragen makes them all water right yeah and correct. so basically they just can't they can't summon right they can't summon yeah so we'll talk about kragen here uh, okay. i'll just kind of move these here to the side so so the cool um, part 
yeah, and I'll just move the, these here to the side. So we played the two Kragans, and this is like the new monster, the new XYZ monster that was released here in Brothers of Legends. Um, he's got like four different effects. So like as soon as he's summoned, and it takes two water monsters to make them, two level four water monsters. As soon as he's summoned, like he makes all the monsters on the field water monsters. So it automatically makes a really disgusting board with a uh, Gozen match. If you're able to get these two, uh, your opponent literally cannot like summon. It's kind of like the the uh, rivalry of warlords and the zombie yeah. luck. Um, it's got another effect where if it can it can quick effect it can quick effect on the, during the main phase destroy a water monster that your opponent controls and because and they're all waters exactly because they're all water because due to his first continuous effect um and then whenever it destroys it it burns for half of the attack of that monster so even if it gains or loses the attack it's not the original attack it's the uh half of the the attack that it has on the field nice. the last effect is that it goes ahead whenever it's destroyed by by battle card effect and since uh whenever it's destroyed by battle card effect it's going to go ahead and special summon uh two or up to two, uh, depending on the materials that it has. Normally, Stealth Kragen has two materials on it. Mm -hmm. It'll summon up to two uh, Stealth Kragen spawns. And then basically what these guys do is they kind of do like the same thing that Kragen does, but um, they, they don't turn everything into waters. Um, and they are they don't turn everything into water. And their other effect is that it does pop during the main phase. It does pop a, a water monster that your opponent controls but you kind of just kind of sit on them right and so whenever they're special summoned um they're special summoned and kragen attaches one to them so sometimes you'll have like a toad or uh you'll have like some water monsters underneath but you them. can keep regenerating your, your uh, resources with like exactly, putting toads exactly, under yeah. him yeah yeah if you already have a toad in the graveyard you attach it underneath the the spawn kragen you wait for it to dies whenever it dies uh, it summons back the Kraken that died earlier by destruction, uh, and then you'll have something like this. So, like, if they do manage to crack your first Kraken, you'll have something like this. Whenever they attack the second one, it'll revive this guy. Now they both become quick effects uh, during the main phase, right? So they just keep recurring. Um, and it's a really, really, really sticky boss monster. Uh, you normally <laughs> try to save, like, the Veilers and the Imperms uh for something like unicorn or something like something like mecha mode that yeah. banishes your uh your dragon you definitely want to sit, protect them uh we also go ahead and play the two bahamas sharks so we were playing three but we cut it down to two this is like the first turn board right mm -hmm. exactly exactly uh we do play the two totally awesomes i don't think you need to play three anymore because you got the silent sea nettles which like recycles everything and you just keep re you just keep reusing these with the uh dragon spawns um, if they sometimes they don't want to attack the Kraken spawns, uh, so they don't want to attack the Kraken spawns, and because they're not number monsters, um, you can go into the you can go into number F zero Utopic Future, and then you can go into uh, number F zero Utopic Draco. So we still play this this here. Um, some cool XCs that we still play are going to be Abyss Dweller, and then we also play the uh, Cricket Cook. <laughs> so number fifty nine Cricket Cook. Oh my goodness. Um, so what this card does here is that if if it's so the only relevant effect for this one is that if it's the only card that you control on the field, um, it's unaffected by all card effects. And the way that you make them is you make them using uh, right hand shark. So you make them using right hand yeah. shark, and now it's uh, immune to battle destruction. They literally. So the there's reason literally why like I play, no card in the game to out this thing outside of like. Tribute. Outside of like kaijus, kaijus. Um, sometimes against certain matchups, you want to make sure that you're careful because they can attack you directly, yeah. or they can go like ahead and just can try a long, kind long of burn loop you, you yeah, or... burn you for a while. Um, so you got to make sure that you're 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 a little knowledgeable of the matchup and what they what they can do. Uh, um, quick question: So you don't play the Karibo or the other shark, the one that they also give the effect. I think of right, the XC doesn't gain the. Yeah, not 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 in not in this build. Just because I'm mostly like locked into like water monsters and stuff sometimes. Okay. Um, but yeah, not not in this build. I, I have seen that in like Exodia builds. Um, <laughs> but the win condition here is not Exodia is actually going to be like decking my opponent out. So and right. I've like, I've accomplished it one time, but it was during a losing situation and it it was kind of a crappy way to go, but it got me the yeah. win. Uh, the last XC that we play is going to be uh, Zeus, and he's pretty good. He's pretty good with the interactions of Kragen crashing into the opponent's monster, bringing out the Kragen spawns, uh, effect pop, effect pop, right? And then you go ahead and make a, a Zeus on top of the Kragen spawn. So he's pretty good. Uh, you're able to clear a lot of stuff. Uh, we do play the one rare fish for the instant fusion and the, um, the uh, ready fusions, fusion. and then we play the... Salamangrate uh, Amirage, just to try to 
just to try to get this guy uh, to be able to combo off with uh, the white mirror. Okay. So. Interesting deck. Obviously, this is the cheeky little card that can, yeah, the, it can the, pull a win out on its own, honestly. It can pull a win. It can pull a win. For sure, for sure. And then, honestly, the side deck is kind of like... Like yeah, the side deck is just more like for, local for yeah, but we'll kind of like still go through yours just okay, to see, yeah, have some ideas. Uh, let's see. So I play for this locals here. I played a. Oh wait, that's not the side. Here it is. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, we have a lot of Drytron, so we played a uh, two um, cycle readers, and we played a uh, three drone lockbirds. Um, Forbidden Chalice for like the side. Cyclone. And uh, also cosmic cyclones for like the side play yeah. that they're doing with DPE. Uh, try to clear a little bit of back row with Lightning Storm, and then two mistakes because we don't really search anything. So, um, and then Imperial Order. So nice. That was the side deck. All right. Well, thank you, Miguel. Congratulations on your your cool deck. Oh, it's been so fun. It's been so <laughs> fun. You guys need to try it out. All right. Thank you, Miguel.